Hello and welcome to Sport on 7. It may be Eid in Dubai, but we've got plenty of sport for you inside the next 30 minutes. On the show this week, we'll chat to England cricketer Kevin Peterson as he has unveiled as Citizen Watchers ambassador in the Middle East. We'll be talking to Pat Cash as he has unveiled as the Mabadla World Tennis Championships ambassador and Chris McCarty, who is an ambassador for Bad Hair. We'll speak to him a little later on the show as well. Welcome to Sport on 7. I'm Tom Bushell. Let's start then with the MENA Tour, which is well underway. And saying Scotland is the man to catch. Speaking at Al Badia ahead of the Dubai Open, I caught up with the Englishman about his current form and his love of the MENA Tour. Saint, uh, welcome back to Dubai, of course. Uh, it's been a busy start to the MENA Tour and all going well for you as well. Yes, um, it's gone really well for me, actually. You know, almost... Uh, not in dreamland, but yes, yeah, it's going really well. In terms of your game, how happy are you with it at the moment? Is there still more to come or are you pretty happy that you're playing at your best at the moment? Um, I like to think there's more to come. I think like, I think even however you play, you always think, oh, it's a bit, you know, I could have done this or I could have done that. So, which kind of, is kind of a driving factor. I think that's kind of why we play golf, to be honest with you, because you chase that perfection, which you, is, makes it all a little bit crazy because it's unattainable, but so, yeah, we all chase it. But um, yeah, I've been doing a little bit of work while I've been down here with Justin Parsons and, you know, we've got, it's progressing um, and I feel like, yeah, there's a bit more room to, to work to. In terms of the MENA Tour, of course, three years in now, it's growing all the time, but how's it helped you personally in terms of your game? I mean, it's a tour you enjoy, obviously. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's helped me a lot. Um, Confidence-wise, it's been it obviously been really good for me because I perform well. Um, I enjoy play, being down in the region, playing golf down here. You know, I love playing golf in the heat, um, these side like golf courses. And and yeah, and it's, you know, this year it gave me <clears throat> the opportunity to get playing the Desert Classic. Um, I'm obviously working towards, you know, making that the case for myself. 2014, you know, it's just it's that little springboard which I think in any other de de development tour you don't really get that opportunity. Uh, but the Mia Tour gives you that, and um, yeah, it's great. It's it's. For me, I mean, I've played tours all around the world, and this is by far and away the best development tour. You know, and I would, you know, I think even if I, you know, this year I go to European Q School and go and get my tour card, but certainly, um, even if I have my card and, you know, if, if events fit in, I would certainly come and play the Mina Tour because it's great preparation. You, you mentioned the Desert Classic there as well, and, and 2014 is going to be a massive event, 25th yeah. anniversary, the likes of Tiger and all the living previous champions yeah. playing. Is that, is that a huge drive for you on this Mina Tour this year? Yeah, big time. I mean, that's, you know, to, to, get, to be able to get into an event like that, normally you'd have to be, be in a major championship. I mean, and then, you know, I think it's going to be, that week is going to be a special week, as you say. I mean, I, I, think, I think pretty much all the living uh, champions are going to be here, you know, and probably, you know, obviously, uh, Sevi to pass away, probably be the only champion that won't be here. But yeah, it's going to be, going to be a special week. And just to be around those guys and being that, you know, sort of arena is, you know, it's what we all want to do, essentially, whether you go and watch it or, you, can, you know, but even better to go and play alongside those guys. One final note from me, Al Badia this weekend, of course, it's a fantastic facility. What, a, a, another one here in Dubai, there's so many of them, but Al Badia is special, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's really good. Um, you get a good feeling when you come here. It's a very sort of like, sort of, sort of high class place to come to, you know, the facilities and the clubhouse are fantastic and the courses. You know, whenever I played it, it's been pretty pristine, um, and it's a real good challenge as well. Um, yeah, I think chatting to the players. This is one course I, everyone looks forward to getting to because you know you got to play well here, and as as last year, Miss Stephen won it. You know, the good player's going to win here, so um, yeah, this is a good one. The Mina Tour sees ten tournaments held this season compared to the four played in its first year. I also spoke to Adrian Flaherty, who was delighted to see the tour growing all the time. First of all, obviously, just want to discuss the improvements to the MENA Tour or the, you know, how, how well it's, it's grown over the last three years. Here we are now with ten tournaments. We started with three. Was it always the plan to, to keep it growing and, and where do we stop? The plan was for it to grow, yes, to grow throughout the MENA region, you know, to encompass more, more countries and obviously with Oman, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Morocco, that's a big plus in, in so few days, in so few times. So, Yes, to, to, to grow, whether it goes to Bahrain or Kuwait or other countries is, is the mission. But um, it's going to take time, but it's been good so far. 
Just talking to Zane there as well, and obviously the winner of the Mina Tour this year will be playing at the 2014 Desert Classic. Mm. That's going to be a huge tournament with the likes of Tiger, previous mm. champions playing as well. Can you see a real drive this time around because people are desperate to play at that tournament? For sure. I mean, this year's or next year's the Mina Desert Classic is is um, it's going to have one of the best fields for for a long time. So um, extra incentive. Great for the top three players from the MENA Tour to play, um, and uh, they're going to love the experience. And it's not just hopefully the Desert Classic that the MENA Tour can, mm. can strike up a deal with. We're looking at getting players into Abu Dhabi and Qatar as well. Yeah, we're, we're talking with them, and hopefully, you know, hopefully it will progress, and they'll see the value of the MENA Golf Tour and the value what, what value it brings to them as well. Um, the, this year, Stevens had invitations to play in the Omega European Masters uh, as well as Hassan Trophy. Um, so th those are good incentives for the guys to, you know, to, to aim for and play for. And in terms of the schedule, obviously it's a busy schedule this time around. A great start over in Morocco, but now the, 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 the business end, if you like, plenty of tournaments here in Dubai, Oman as well. It really is a nice schedule for these players, isn't it? Well, it works out great. I mean, eight weeks for them to, you know, to, to, to be full on tour is fantastic, you know, and then get their game in great shape. Um, a lot of them have been to European Tour School Qualifier as well. Uh, but coming back here, eight weeks, base themselves here, and not not far to go. You know, whether we go to Oman, Qatar, or Saudi, so it's a good stretch for them. Team Scotland has now won three out of the five MENA Tour events this season and there are still five events to go. Uh, that's it for part one of Sport on 7 but still plenty to come including Pat Cash and Kevin Peterson when we come back on Sport on 7 in just a couple of minutes.